I think it's time we all get along. I think it's time we all stop fighting over religion. I think it's time we all stop fighting on Facebook over politics. I think Trump is not the most important thing on the planet right now. I think this polar shift that has been happening since 2012, it's slowly gaining traction, is what we should talk about. I think we sh the news should stop calling it global warming. Because it's not called global warming. It's called a pole shift. See, every thousand, there's, it's, it's like 30,000 30, years, there has been a pole shift in history. It's not some religious whack shit. It's a thing that's happening to the earth and affecting us as human beings. Maybe that's a truthful thing the news should put on. Oh wait, they're trying to, but they're doing it in slow, small increments. But if you go online, you can just look it up and say, oh, there is a pole shift happening. That's why the weather's fucked up. There's so many sinkholes happening everywhere around the world because the world is shifting. That's why there's so many earthquakes happening around the world. That's why there's so many floods happening around the world. That's why it's hailing where it shouldn't be hailing. That's where it's sunny where it shouldn't be sunny. That's where it's snowing where it shouldn't be snowing. That's, where there's, that's why there's weird-ass cloud formations forming in the sky since 2012. They're only getting weirder. You should look up 2017 is strange. Or 2017 is weird. It's one of those. Because we're not told the truth on the television. I like saying the television. Why? Because if the television, which we all watch the tell a vision, television, tell you a vision. That's kind of obvious. I never noticed that until I found out two years ago. Television. It's one thing that you shouldn't be watching. Because, believe it or not, your subconscious mind, it doesn't matter if you say no to the information when you're watching it. It doesn't matter if you're saying, I don't agree with this. I'm not going to remember this. It doesn't matter if you close your eyes when you see advertisements. Because everything your eyes view processes through your eyes and goes to, through the optic nerve and into the brain. You don't have a choice unless you don't watch it in the first place. When you're out, everything in my room, everything outside, my brain is gathering. Your brain is an unlimited resource of storage. No charge needed, like the cloud. But why can't we access our subconscious minds? Why can't we just use it? Well, we can. It's called photographic memory. It's to where anything you read, anything you see, anything you hear, see, read, those, all that, you can remember, you can recall. Your subconscious mind has a little block, it has a little virus software, and that's called your prefrontal cortex of the brain. Your prefrontal cortex, the front part of your brain, is the decision maker. We don't have this when we're first born. It's not developed. We have a subconscious mind only. Yet, we don't know why it develops. A lot of sites, a lot of books, have theorized that it happened because we needed ways to survive. We needed to adapt to our environment. We needed to know what animals were food. We needed to know what if you believe in evolution. There are so many there are so many fucking theories of where we came from. We needed to adapt. We needed to some people think we're created by aliens. And maybe that's true. How the fuck do you know 
How do you know where we came from? How do you know we adapted from apes? Well, there's fossils. There's also fossils of giants. Anything could be possible. Anything. And yet, some people, this is why we fight, stick to one option. They're like, Bible, only way of thinking. Yes, your way wrong. That's how they think. And it's like, there are so many different theories you can learn about, so many different, yet one person will learn about Scientology and they won't learn anything else. One person will learn and become a Catholic, which is, <laughs> and they won't try anything else. This is what the book said. That's it. I choose to learn every possible thing I can, but never stick to one thing. Yet you'll get that one person who absolutely believes in something, and you can't talk to them because they just only believe in that one thing. And if you disagree with it, well, you're close-minded. That's like the biggest comeback now in modern day is you're close-minded. It's the most annoying thing on the planet. So you know what? I don't manifest it. Yeah, manifesting actually works. Wow. How people say, oh, manifesting doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't? Okay, well then, how is it scientifically proven that it does work? Yet, you're saying it doesn't because you don't agree, but you haven't done any research on it, like I have. Yeah, I've read the Bible, and it made me laugh my ass off. Because, one, I read the Old Testament. Oh, you gotta read the New Testament! No, I don't, because I tried to, and... I think the, the most irritating thing when I read the Bible was He is thus Maius Theus Dontus and it's just like what? Just speak in normal oh wait, they can't speak in normal English because if they did that they had it. the Bible is like a coded book so anyone can interpret it in any way they want. A crazy person who rips people open and eats their insides read the Bible and he's a born-again Christian which makes him a good person. You can read the Bible and see one thing and it can mean something to you and then you can read the Bible someone else can read it they can read the same thing you just read and it can mean something completely different. So you know what? We need to get rid of all the Bibles get rid of religion in general and just stop doing it because it kills lots of people oh wait no it doesn't we kill people we choose to kill people because they don't agree with our views maybe just maybe maybe just maybe maybe just maybe we could get along Maybe get some world peace in that in that salad bowl. Mix that shit up. Oh, but if we like peace, then we're hippies. I think what we need to do in this society is get in a circle, grab our televisions, money, and mirrors, toss them into a fire pit, burn all of our mirrors, money, and, um, what's it called? What's it called? Um, today's been so fucking weird. Just in general. If you feel like you've been changing, when the, when the earth switches, it evolves, and the people on it evolve, and we change. Our genes change. Well, how do our genes change? Let me let me tell you something first about because my brain has been working so incredibly fast today that I haven't been able to just grab one certain thought and just stop and do it. 
like complete ADHD. And usually I'm really successful. I'm really on it. I, I find a goal, complete it. That's it. That's what I do. But today it's just been a clusterfuck of weird. I think I'll go rogue. I think I'll be like Master of Earth's channel and just like um, upload one video every year. <laughs> That's what he does. He uploads like a two hour video one time a year. And his videos are really informative. They're really smart. They're really well thought out, really well planned. And he is one of those, like me, one of those one true people who wants to spread the truth, tell the truth, and nothing but the truth. And honestly, fat, fucking fat people, fat people, if you are not aware, if you are trying to make it sound like it is okay to be fat. No, it isn't. It means... <laughs> it means you're unhealthy. You see, long, 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 long ago, the reason marriages worked before was because in the relationship, because the media told us this. The media programmed us. The media told us, this is what's right. This is what's wrong. And we watched it so much that we thought that way, and that's how we acted. Ah. When a commercial comes up on TV who has a, a weak woman who is... No, this is a real commercial from the 50s. This is a girl who can't, who can't fix her car without a man. What does that do to your subconscious? It unconsciously... No, no, this is, this is really true. It unconsciously tells your mind that, oh, I guess women are weaker than men. It, I'm not a feminist. I'm not a male feminist. I'm not a protester. I'm not any of that shit. I'm just saying that when commercials like that come up on TV, when a commercial of a dog, a husband, two kids, and a wife, and everything's bright and happy for a drug commercial comes on and be like, this drug will fix your skin. But it will cause anal bleeding, it will cause diarrhea, it will cause cancer, it will cause colon cancer. It's just like, you're subliminally putting that ad in our subconscious. How? How? Because it doesn't matter if you agree with it. Any kind of message goes into your subconscious and stays there. And if it's repeated enough in repetition, you will do it unconsciously. You won't know that you want to do it, but you will do it. Does that make sense? Your brain will want to do it. You won't know that. You'll just automatically buy it because that's how television works. You are brainwashed. You're brainwashed. And there are so many methods to fix health problems that the mainstream media doesn't want you to know. The mainstream media, by the way, is tell a vision. Television. Fox News is one of the fakest news channels. I used to, when I was younger, the news would always be on. It would scare me because all they would talk about is either someone got raped in this area. You can't go to this area. Someone got stabbed in this area. You can't go to this area. Someone got robbed in this. This area has a lot of car robberies. This man escaped from prison and he's killing people. He's on a killing spree. And it's just like fear, 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 fear. That's all they want. They just want to fucking scare you. Because if they scare you, then you won't do anything. You'll rely on the television to protect you. It's like, okay, good, I know these areas aren't safe, so I can hide in my way and never go anywhere because TV makes you paranoid. That's it. Maybe you just, why do you watch it? Right there. I'm making a video, but I knew you were coming. But I didn't want to say hi. You can't say hi. Where was I? Where was I? Did I mention I'm a little psychic? And not like one of those jackasses where you, you walk into their, their store and they're like, let me read your palm. Let me read your palm. Oh my God. You're going to make $20 tomorrow. And it's just like, fuck off. I'm going to get a comment. 
Then you can leave this comment that says, that actually does work, though. <laughs> okay. I believe you. And I really mean that. People create things. People are the ones who think of things. It's like, where did that religion come from? Where did that thought come from? People. People made it. I, I think one of the most useful things is, is numerology. I used to think it was complete bullshit when I was more close-minded. And now it's just like, okay, well that identically described me. How do you do that? Just by my name. Look, identically describe my entire life. Like, how can you disprove that when it's so spot-on correct? You know, I, I'm, I'm going to make this video go viral. I am going to manifest that this video will go viral. And you know what? You can manifest anything you want, and it happens faster when you say it in your head. When you actually think that someone's going to say, well, I think every day. No, no, think, as in stop moving your mouth and you actually talk in your head. I can sense every time before my grandma opens my door. I can sense every single time. I know when she's getting up in the living room. My senses are so in tune. I know if she's outside. I know if the car's just pulling up outside and it's far away, trust me. You want to know about the one, the one thing that I really just don't give two shits about, three shits, is if people say that I'm skinny. You can say it. I've heard it my entire life, but when I was in high school, I weighed like fucking 60 pounds. I was 60 pounds when I was a, uh, a freshman. 60 fucking pounds. How? How? I didn't eat. I didn't eat my whole life because I was picky. I got dinner. My family gave me dinner, but I would sit for three hours at the dinner table until the food got bad and they would throw it away. I had a... Uh, <laughs> also, my genes. I have a gene mutation, so get over it. I'm going to look young for a very long time. I don't age. Get that in your head. Viewers, get that in your head. I don't age. My muscles can grow, but I still have the body of a 17-year-old. I still get eye-fucked by 16-year-olds. And it's like, well, you're, you're dumb, but you're kind of attractive. Yeah. I won't admit that I think 16-year-olds are attractive. I won't. I'm not going to hide it. 16-year-olds are attractive. But they're dumb as fuck because they're 16. They're inexperienced in all walks of life. They're stupid. Unless they, they, they grow up with someone who teaches them all these things. But most in modern day 16 year olds are stupid. They rely on the internet for everything, like most people. And all they do is be a 16 year old. This is true. How do we know things? <coughs> How do we know things? How do we automatically know this or this or this without doing tons of research on it and learning it from base up? Why are there so many rules? Why are there so many rules in our society that just you can't do that? When you, you grow up as a kid, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's like, maybe actually I can. Maybe you were told you couldn't, so now you're telling your kids that they can't, when really, they can. That's why I would be a different parent. I'm going to say, no, you can, put, you can do anything you put your mind to. It's creepy to be creepy. Don't be creepy. Don't. I... There are lots of things in our society that we're lied to about. We're not told the truth. 
we're kept ignorant. But people are waking up. People are starting to not be stupid anymore. It's <laughs> a good way to put it. The news brainwashes us. In North Korea and in Nazi Germany, when it happened, they would control the newspapers. They would control the television. Well, what do we do? We control the newspapers and we control the television. We are Nazi Germany. We're, we, not we, the news. They give us news that they want us to know, not what we want to know. You, you open up the newspaper, since I live with two old people, they read the newspaper and get brainwashed every morning, and all you see is murder and politics, and it's like, what? Why don't you put something positive in there? Like, woman gets healed from cancer using baking soda. Why don't you put useful shit in there that actually means something, that actually works? Why don't you help people instead of make them scared, make them live in fear? Why don't you stop telling us that encouraging us to die, why, why not stop doing that? You encourage us to die by you get retirement to age 60. You get retirement at age 50. You get to live in this house when you reach age 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever. Age, number does not matter. There are people in other different countries that are like 130. Yet in America, we die by the age of like 60 to 80. <coughs> Why? Well, one, it's the food we eat. The shitty-ass food we eat. By the way, if a, if a fruit has a barcode on it, and the number below the barcode, the four digit, starts with a nine, that means it's organic. If it has an eight, that means it's GMO. Good to know, right? <coughs> the FDA never existed until the 70s. The Food and Drug Administration... We didn't even need, before, before we just didn't have the Food and Drug Administration. We didn't need it. We never had it. We didn't need it. Then they started getting greedy. Then they started putting poison in our food. And yet we eat it. Never, and I mean never, buy oranges, apples, or what's another one? Mostly any fruit. Never buy fruit that isn't organic because you're eating pesticides. There is residue of pesticides on the fruit you're eating. It's also inside the fruit. So even if you wash it off, it will still be inside the fruit. That You can't get out. You can't get the, get the pesticides out. They're grown inside the fruit. Every year, believe it or not, the earth adapts to the poison that we put on it, so we have to make the poison three times stronger. Not we, Monsanto. Monsanto has to make the poison stronger because the earth adapts to it. So each year, the processed produce in grocery stores becomes twice as poison. Yummy. And you're eating it. Another thing they're not telling you is that according to the Constitution, I don't know if anyone still follows that shit, you don't need a driver's license to drive. <laughs> yeah, you really don't. The only, originally, you only need a driver's license if you're transporting goods, like for a business, if you're not doing that, you're just driving, yeah. don't need one. And you could probably still get away with it today. You, you probably could, actually. <coughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
finally calming down. And that's good. In high school, I was, and out of high school and college, I was just as brainwashed as all of you people. But most of my subscribers aren't going to watch. They know what's going on. They know what's what. Oh, look up uh, racist um, racist commercials from the 50s. The reason... I, I, I used to think that all this politically correct bullshit was bullshit. And, but honestly... And I'm not going to become politically correct. Comparing politically correctness, it's cold, so I'm kind of shaky. Politically correctness, we got to be nice to black people now, which we still stereotype anyways. And the 50s, where black people were only this certain way, kind of is like programming through the generations. And it's still that way. Black people are rappers, white people are rich. Black people play basketball, white people own businesses. There are black people that do own businesses, but... Wow! Just, wow, if you go back, you go on YouTube and you just look up that shit. You look up old commercials. And you see why, back then, women were lower than men. And black people were still slaves, and they still are. Just putting that out there. I'm trying to piss some people off a little bit in this video. That way they comment, they share the video, they say how mean I am. That's what Trump does. See, Trump's got it all right. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I like Trump. <gasps> Did you hear what he said? i got to share this, and I've got to send it to my friends, and I've got to put it on Facebook, and i I got to... I gotta share this video because that way people can see how mean this man is. Trump, Trump is the smartest man I've ever seen. Do you want to know why he says we're gonna build a wall? He's not gonna build a wall. You people are just retarded. He does that for attention. Don't know how many times I have to say that to you. Trump says shit that offends people for attention. Do you know how popular he is? Do you know how popular Hitler was? Why? Because he did abrupt things that people didn't like for attention. You get more attention if you do bad things. I love being honest. I just, I love it. Because not enough people are. I'm going to be completely honest with everyone. I heal really fast. I have a high pain tolerance. I didn't before. I had a slightly high pain tolerance, but not crazy like now. Like, I can... Like, if I make any hard noises, I mean, yes, yesterday I made a video called Your Bones Are Important Too, or something, and I hit my metal desk. I mean, I, I can hit metal. Uh, falling doesn't really hurt me anymore. Fucking ear itches. Lots of things. Lots of things. And yet if you tell anyone, they'll be like, that's not true. Your brain has thousands of neurotransmitters transmitting every day through synapses, brain synapses. And when you think those things, those electrical signals actually go out to other people. That's why when you're angry, people can sense it. Because you're giving out those electrical signals. We are electrical beings. Our entire bodies are like computers. We are wired. If you, if you ever see a diagram of the inside of a human, we have so many wiring, so much wiring to our brains, to every point. That's why acupuncturists can press one little part of your finger and it can affect another part of your body. Because just like a computer, if you cut one part of the cord, the whole computer stops working or something happens to the computer. 
when we let out an electrical signal, just like Wi-Fi, I'm going to use Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi transmits a signal to the receiver, and you, you can give your phone an X react to the Wi-Fi. It's the same with humans. It's in business books. When you let out positivity, when you let out a smile, it gives an electrical signal to the person near you or around you or the people around you, and they feel it. If there's five negative people and one positive person who's really happy, he or she can convert all those five people to be happy with just a smile. Because we are electrical beings. If you're mopey and depressed and just sad all the time and everyone's mean you, it's everyone's fault, no one's going to want to be around you except there's other people who are also like that. You attract the people that are like you over time. It's true. If you're flamboyant, you'll attract flamboyant people. Unless you're a fake ass and you act one way just to impress the other people. <laughs> See, those people don't have any real friends because all their emotions are bottled up inside and not real. They're so scared to say it. Their inner thoughts, their inner feelings, that they bottle it up until one day it explodes in not a good way. I have to refill my water. I'll be right back. Oh. Now I'm going to describe random, right? I'm back, by the way. Now I'm going to describe all the people that you will experience in every grade of school. And they're not going to change. They've always existed, and they're always going to keep existing. Let's start with preschool. You got the little kid that preschool is... Yeah, you got the kid that will do anything the teacher asks him to do or her. You got the kid that's the comedian. You got the kid that's the... Uh, little brat that has inner emotional problems that starts conflicts. You got the kid that um, is just the quiet kid that no one really hates and no one really likes. Then you got the weird fucking kid who does weird shit and no one likes him or her. And then you grow up to elementary school, you got the bully, you got the smart kid, you got the smart kid but he's weird and people pick on him, you got the antisocial kid who sits in the corner and people don't talk to him because they either fear him or don't want to be near him, you got the smart ass that is a comedian, you got the kid that will do anything the teacher tells them to do, the teacher's pet, then let's go up a uh, let's go up to junior high. You got the slutty girl who wants attention from everyone because she's at that age, she's just discovering herself. You got the slutty girl, you got the nice girl who'll do anything the teacher says. Um or a nice guy that will do anything the teacher says. You got the group person who listens to everyone and just absorbs all the information and doesn't ever say their opinion, his or her opinion. You got the best friend that has everything in common with you and you're pretty much only friends with that person and they're only friends with you. You got the bully, of course, who has inner emotional conflict but he doesn't talk about it. You got... Bullies are really weak, by the way. They're very easy to take down. Just use a verbal. Then you got the jock. The starting off jock is the junior high. Then you got the antisocial girl or boy 
that hides in the corner, either draws, uh, talks to themselves, or really antisocial. Let's go to high school. Oh, high school. This is going to be a hard one. <laughs> there are so many different ones. Uh, yeah. One, let's start with the basics. You got the teacher's pet, you got the bully, you got the comedian, you got the person in every group that doesn't say their opinion, they just listen, and then behind your back, talk shit, that's usually the Libra, just putting that out there, that's usually the Libra. You got the... You got the jock, of course. You got the nice jock, who's friendly to everyone. Sometimes it happens. You got the wrestler, slash uh, guy who's friends with the jocks or stoners. You got the stoners. <laughs> um, you got the weird people who, who just don't talk to anyone. They have their safe space. They won't speak to anyone. If you try to talk to them, they'll walk away from you. You got the um, gossiper. You tell them something, they tell someone else right away. Um, a way to counteract gossipers is by telling them fake information, some bullshit, and it's not real information. Um, blah, 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 blah. You... about it. Fucking eyes. Always remember, sound changes your cells. Take a few seconds just to look that up, and you'll know that you can change any part of you over at least a year or two. It might, it might take three years. Sounds can change depending on how strong the sound waves are. Some subliminals on YouTube have strong sound waves, some have weak. Any questions you ask me to this video or tell me, I will not reply to. If you've watched it to the end like this, I am not going to reply to any comments, and then maybe I will. Once, once I get 50 comments to this video, because this video is going to be 50 minutes long, but I'm going to edit it so it won't be 50 minutes long anyways. Once I get 50 or 100 comments to this video, yeah, I am going to answer all of them. Only my truly loyal subscribers that I've had for a long time will have gotten to this point. And if you get to the end of this video, because it's almost over, I'm going to do this. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. And today it's fucking weird. The pole shift is just fucking with me. So, I'm going to end it here, and I don't know when I'll be back to YouTube.